Hey guys, today we're gonna do catnap from Poppy Playtime. We're gonna do a really simple version, so let's get started. So I'm gonna draw a line that is going to curve into a nose and a smile all at the same time. So start from the left and curve up, just like a smiley face, but then curve over to the left and back through. This is a great easy way to draw a cartoon smile. Fill in the nose, dark, and then right to the left of the nose and up, we're gonna do this big eye and it's gonna look kind of like a potato shape. On the right side, same thing, but do it kind of as almost a rounded triangle. And then inside each of those shapes, do just a couple of ovals like that. And then we're gonna fill the outside edge dark. And there you have it. So far we're moving fast. Okay, now, right below the mouth, there's gonna be a hand, her hand. So I want you to curve a line all the way up and then over and down. A shape just like that, okay? Then we're gonna do two fingers that go over to the right. So just curve to the right and down on both of them like that. And then go ahead and bring a line that comes down curves back into that hand with a curvy line below. That kind of creates the hand and the arm all in one. And then right to the right of that, we're gonna do this crescent moon. So do almost a circle and then stop. And then on the top and the bottom, similar thing, just like that. All right, let's go back up to the mouth. So now we have the hand and the finger there, we're gonna do a big smiley face that goes behind the finger all the way up, just like that. And then a little line on the top that connects them. And then before we fill that in dark, let's go ahead and add a tongue, which is gonna kind of look just like a heart shape, but bigger. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Now let's fill in the background black. And then right up above the eyes, let's do two frowny faces, shapes. And these are gonna be the eyebrows. And then between those two, we'll do a line. And then on the left side, we'll curve down and create these little bumps that just go on the right side until we get to the mouth and then just straight down. Okay, on the right side, same thing, just start over here and we'll do a few bumps like that and then just curve all the way down and around, just like that. Okay, let's, let's do her ears while we're up here. These are going to be kind of like two big shark fins with little shapes in the middle. And we'll do those on both sides just connect it over to the right there. Okay, her face, her emblem, her hand, all that done. Let's go ahead and do the body. So from that hand that we drew, we're gonna curve down and over like that. And that's where the one of the feet will connect. And then we'll go ahead and draw one, the left foot first. So we'll curve, or we'll go straight that way and then over to the right, we'll go down. And make sure you guys can see. And then we'll go ahead and curve over like that, leaving room for a little paw. The curve just like that. Okay, we've got one foot. Let's do the same thing on the other side, but we'll curve all the way down there. Go over a little and then curve over. And same thing, just go out down, that's gonna create kind of this paw. Just like that, a little curve like that. Okay, and we'll go a little bit up like that. All right, let's do the other arm. So the other arm, we're gonna start from the right side of the head. We're gonna curve all the way down like that. Right here to the right of that crescent moon, we'll curve. And then we're gonna do 
a bump for a thumb that goes like that. And then for the fingers, we're going to do the same kind of a bump, but over to the right. And we're going to do three of those. Same shape, kind of like sausage fingers. And then just do a line of where, like, kind of like where the glove would be. Let's connect that crescent moon up to the head. And now we've got everything but the tail. So the tail is going to kind of come out the right side. So what I'm going to do is just create a curve like that and have it kind of twist. And then we'll come out the left side and do a big curve that comes all the way like that. And then come out the other side again and curve up like that. And then we're going to wrap all the way around. And we're going to curve and create the other side. Now, on the inside, we'll come around like that. And one more just like that. All right, there we have it, our finished cat nap. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.